Is the latest settlement rumor between Ripple versus the SEC true? By the way, according to Ledger support, some customers are experiencing issues sending XRP through the Ledger Live mobile application and we will be reviewing that. Moreover, Ripple is working on an identity solution allowing enterprises to comply with global sanctions. Finally, XRP has been going through some downslide lately, but will a positive news for the crypto market provide a boon for XRP prices? Stick with me till the end to find out more. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel, where we talk about the latest updates on XRP and the cryptocurrency world in general. If this is your first time watching one of our videos, we happily send you a special welcome. We invite you to hit on the notification bell so you never miss another video. We are announcing that this channel has a giveaway of 200 XRP. To stand the chance of participating, all you have to do is simply subscribe to the channel, like this video and comment with the hashtag XRP, and the winner will be announced on the 15th of May. Crypto Law Founder Attorney John E. Deaton has debunked the widespread rumor of an upcoming settlement in the lawsuit between the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, and Ripple. Yesterday, Blockchain Daily, a crypto news outlet, took to Twitter to announce an unconfirmed report about a settlement in the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit. According to the news outlet, the settlement is reportedly scheduled for May 8th. Interestingly, XRP community members did not seem excited about the rumor. Instead, they called on the team behind the Twitter handle to delete the tweet and stop spreading negative news. The report has prompted reactions among XRP community members, with attorney Deaton, who represents thousands of XRP holders as a friend of the court, Amicus Curiae, commenting on the development. A few minutes after the news started making the rounds, Deaton debunked the rumor, saying he would bet the report was false. According to Deaton, the legal teams of Ripple and the SEC can decide to meet any time to discuss the terms of a settlement. However, it does not make sense to the crypto law founder that the duo would choose a date for a meeting scheduled in a week and still leak the information to the public. In a follow-up tweet, attorney Deaton said, this is not how a settlement happens. Deaton reiterated that a settlement would likely happen after Judge Annalisa Torres rules on the case. He added that the SEC would make moves to settle only if Ripple gets a big victory. For the outspoken lawyer, the SEC chair Gary Gensler will try to settle if Ripple wins big in the case to save face and get a political win through settlement. This is not the first time that a rumor about a settlement in the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit is making the rounds. However, these reports are usually debunked by top stakeholders familiar with the case. As reported earlier, Cardano founder Charles Hoskinson noted last year that SEC and Ripple would settle on December 15, 2022. However, the rumor, fueled by Hoskinson, was debunked by Fox Business journalist Eleanor Terrett, leading to an exchange of words between members of the XRP and Cardano communities. Please, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings as regards to XRP. Ledger, a leading brand of crypto hardware wallets, recently called attention to an issue faced by its customers when dealing with XRP. According to a recent tweet, the official Ledger support account acknowledged customers having issues setting up XRP accounts or sending XRP through the Ledger Live mobile application. The company assured customers that the issues faced pose no threat to their assets, as their funds remain secure. Ledger urged customers to upgrade their mobile apps to the latest update. However, users have pointed out that the latest update is the cause of the recent issues. Notably, when users attempt to add an XRP account to their Ledger Live mobile application or carry out XRP transactions on the app, they experience an error code. Numerous users have lodged complaints of the report but noted that they have not received any favorable response from Ledger. Meanwhile, Ledger has asked customers to use the Ledger Live desktop application to view and manage their XRP if the issues with the mobile app persist. The platform implied that it does not have a complete idea of what caused the 418 error but will continue providing more information to the public as investigations progress. As a non-standard code created by the Hypertext Coffee Pot Control Protocol, the code typically pops up when the server a user is trying to communicate with is not taking the request seriously or does not support the request the user is making. As earlier highlighted, Ledger assured users that their XRP assets are safe. This is likely because the Ledger Live mobile application faces the error and does not really contain investors' assets. The funds and keys are securely stored on the offline hardware wallets while the mobile app is used to manage them. 
Amid a slew of hacks within the crypto scene, industry players have championed the use of hardware wallets like the ones provided by Ledger, which have proven to be perfect hedges against attacks. Sudik recently disclosed that $103.6 million was lost to crypto hacks and scams last month alone. While Ledger has never lost assets due to a hack, the platform did experience a security breach in July 2020 that affected over 270,000 customers. The attackers dumped the personal data of the affected customers in December of that year. Ledger confirmed that the data was from its e-commerce database and assured users' assets were safe. Furthermore, in a recent discourse, David Schwartz, the CTO at Ripple, shared insights on the forthcoming automated market maker functionality on the XRP ledger. Additionally, he shed light on an identity resolution mechanism that Ripple is developing, enabling enterprises to comply with international sanctions regulations. Schwartz discussed these exciting forthcoming features during a conversation with King Solomon, CEO of Genfinity, at the 2023 Coindesk Consensus event held in Austin, Texas. Expanding on the subject, Schwartz confirmed that Ripple is actively engaged in creating an identity solution that will enable enterprises to adhere to global sanctions regulations while harnessing the promise of DeFi. He noted, enterprises will not participate in any financial system where they might inadvertently accept money from or send money to a sanctioned entity. Because the penalties are just so high, they just won't do it. Per a report released by Verifin last month, there has been a growing trend in the imposition of fines on entities that fail to comply with stringent anti-money laundering and sanction compliance measures. The report revealed that in 2022, the U.S. Treasury imposed $886 million in fines on several entities, while the SEC imposed fines up to $101 million. Schwartz emphasized that Ripple's primary focus for 2023 will center around devising a solution to address enterprises' compliance challenges while dealing with decentralized finance. Our 2023 emphasis is going to be around removing barriers to enterprise adoption of DeFi technology, he declared. As previously stated, Schwartz expressed his enthusiasm for the automated market maker feature last week, citing it as the most thrilling addition to the XRPL in a while. Although Schwartz acknowledged that the forthcoming AMM solution would bring liquidity to the network, he clarified that it wasn't the aspect that piqued his interest the most. According to him, the upcoming native AMM feature holds the most promise in terms of the potential yield that users can generate by providing liquidity through loaning their cryptocurrencies and stablecoins, as well as the trading strategies that the AMM can carry out on behalf of token holders. David Schwartz also drew attention to the remarkable adoption rate of NFTs on the XRPL since the introduction of XLS20 in October last year. The XRP ledger has witnessed 151,400 NFT trades since the native NFT functionality was added to the network six months ago, with a total trade volume of 21.9 million XRP. The network currently has five prominent NFT marketplaces, with OnXRP leading the way in trade volume, having processed 11.2 million XRP in NFT trades since its launch. As reported earlier, OnXRP facilitated the second largest NFT sale on the XRPL two weeks ago. Now to the big question of the day, will positive news for the crypto market provide a boom for XRP prices? Please, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell to be the first person to get more updates about the latest happenings as regards to XRP. For the second week now, XRP, the native cryptocurrency for the Ripple network, has continued to trade flatly, mirroring the general calm exhibited by most cryptocurrencies as May starts. While the XRP performed exceptionally well in March, surging by roughly 60%, April was particularly rocky, seeing the XRP plunge by over 20%. Currently, the price is torn between dropping lower or pushing higher, as evidenced by the tight squeeze it has been thrown into. According to pseudonymous crypto analyst XRP Captain, XRP could see a further leg down to 40 cents. Today, the pundit shared a bearish flag pattern visible on XRP's daily chart. According to him, the price seems to be signaling a further drop after a brief calm following the three-day price dump from 53 cents to 44 cents in mid-April. Terra, another crypto enthusiast, noted that XRP is at the mercy of Bitcoin currently. According to her, it would be necessary for XRP's volume to break resistance at around 47 cents for the price to give a clear direction signal. She further said, I think it should just range sideways until we get the green light from Bitcoin, wrote Sarah. Sarah's analysis also seems to echo that of Harry, another analyst who highlighted resistance at 47 cents. Going by a tweet by the pundit today, 
XRP's price seems to form a symmetrical triangle. This pattern usually suggests that the market is experiencing a period of indecision and that a breakout in either direction is imminent. However, in an April 30th post, Harry noted that positive events for XRP or crypto broadly could send price vertical, considering the pattern at hand is a bullish continuation pattern. From the short-term view, XRP seems to be facing minor resistance at 46 cents, with the price bouncing off that area as seen in the hourly time frame. But it is also worth noting that XRP investors and traders globally highly anticipate the outcome of the Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit. If the outcome is positive for Ripple, it could surge XRP prices, possibly above $1. As reported earlier, Attorney Deaton said the ruling in SEC vs. Ripple case might come before May 6th. In such a case, if the ruling comes in Ripple's favor on or before May 6th, XRP could boost in price as XRP will become the only crypto asset with regularity clarity in the USA. Also, top US exchanges like Coinbase will rush to relist XRP, further boosting the altcoin price. So we come to the end of this video guys, if you enjoyed it, please make sure you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, you can help enlighten others just like you have been enlightened by sharing this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news everywhere guys. If you are a true cryptocurrency fan, don't miss any of our content. See you tomorrow to talk about the latest news that concerns us all as a community.